Hey everyone, hope you're all having a great day today. I just wanted to give you a quick review on some products from ELF. That stands for Eye, Flips, and Face. And every product in that line is a dollar. And the first thing, I'm, I mean, I know this is something that kind of interests a lot of people because they want to know, well, is it even worth it for me to spend a dollar? If they're charging a dollar, maybe it's low quality. But uh, there are some things that are pretty good, and I'm going to probably be reviewing a lot of the things that I've tried. Uh, you can get them online. I've gotten some of my items online. You can also get them from like Target, Kmart, uh, certain drug stores. Um, but I want to start out with brushes. I think they're kind of a fundamental thing um, that everybody needs to have in their makeup collection. And I have a few of them from e.l.f. Just different types that I want to tell you a little bit about and which ones I think are worth buying and which ones maybe not. So the first one is their Total Face Brush. So as you can see, this is a uh, pretty good size brush. It's pretty fluffy. It's pretty soft as well. Um, it feels pretty good on your face. Um, it also has a nice taper to the bristles. By taper, I kind of mean that um, when you're looking at it, the bristles aren't just like flat across. They're sort of a gentle curve, you know, arch to the brush. I think things are much easier to blend when your brush is like that. And this has a little bit of that. Um, it's good for a uh, loose powder, a bronzer maybe. I really like this brush. Um, the one thing that kind of tipped me off about it though was that it is a little bit loose. Actually, I think I pressed it in there really well, but it was a little loose between here and here. Like it was a little wobbly, but I really pressed it on really hard one day and it's working a little bit better. But a uh, good brush for travel, like I said, it's only a dollar. You can't really go wrong with that. So the other brush I have is the uh, bronzing brush. I don't know if you can see this. I want to give you a little comparison just for size. This is much smaller than the uh, than this brush here. It's uh, meant for bronzing. Like I said, I would use probably a fluffier brush for bronzing, but um, this one's a little bit smaller and it'll do. Um, it's good for making a contour maybe to your face. It's just a touch small, really. Um, for blush and things like that, but you can make it work, you know, specialty things, maybe you want like some sort of lightened, excuse me, <laughs> some sort of lightened uh, shadow under your eye, I don't know. Um, I usually tend to find uses for things, but I don't um, have, already have a brush that has this little angle to it, so I like that. I'm going to try to work with this and figure out what it's really good for coming up, but um, it's not a bad brush. Other one is the uh, blending eye brush. This is otherwise probably known to most people as a contour brush. Um, it's pretty fluffy. It's kind of big actually I think for a contour brush. I mean, if you look at it next to my eye I think it's I mean it's a little bit bigger than the other brushes I have for that purpose and I think because it's bigger it gives me a little less control than I probably want to have and also if you're using this I've used this with a pretty dark uh, dark gray black sort of shadow and you have to kind of worry about the fallout under here. Like I said, a little less control is just going to diffuse your shadow more. So use it for a light, lighter color, um, sort of a more natural look. This can work for you. Um, it's not the greatest eyeshadow brush in the world, but it's certainly um, worth at least a dollar. I think so. You might want to pick this up as well. Now, here's the thing that I really like that Elf has, and it's such a simple concept. It's a smudge eye sponge. Have you ever gotten one of those uh, eyeliners from CoverGirl, and it's got that little uh, blender tip at the at the end of it? Well, this is like having that, only it comes to a little point, which you probably won't be able to see, but it comes to a little bitty point at the end, and it's just so terrific for blending right in here under the eye, blending in your eyeshadow with your liner, things like that love it for that purpose. Um, I think it's just great. It's like I said, it's such a simple little concept. It's really, you know, no big deal. <laughs> it came with the, um, I'm not sure if this one comes individually or not, because for me it came as a part of the smoky eye kit. Um, so, but I like that a lot. That might be what I pick out of all of them, but um, like I said, they're decent brushes. They're really pretty good for the price. I mean, I've paid more for some drugstore brushes that aren't even as good as this. So, some brushes from e.l.f. worth looking into, only a dollar a piece. Thanks for watching.